In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Wikipedia's list of U.S. state abbreviation codes to create a dimension table that you can use in a database application that would provide uh, your system with the U.S. Uh, state name, the uh, status of it, and we're going to pull out the USPS code, the U.S. Postal Service code abbreviation, and then um, create a primary key on that data using the new Excel Power Query uh, capability. First thing I need to do is, again, um, I go to the list of U.S. state abbreviation codes, and I'm going to copy the URL for that to my clipboard. From there, I'm going to go into an Excel, and what I've done is I've already downloaded and installed the new Power Query feature that's available for Excel. The next thing I'm going to do is go to From Web and use that command to display a dialog box that allows me to put in the URL for the Wikipedia site. So I'll go ahead and paste in the, uh, the URL. Now Power Query is going out and looking at the site and seeing what tables are on the uh, web page and it found four tables. The first table called Table Edit is actually the one we want. Other tables include this mismatches between what's listed um, between the USPS and USCG codes. There's another table in here um, with just a bunch of demographic information and then another one that's just basically related to the document. So I'm going to go ahead and select Table Edit. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I just like to rename things to be something useful and I'll say US Postal Codes here for the name of the query. I'm then going to go ahead and remove or just select the columns that I want in the query. So I'm going to select the region, the region status, and this column right here. I can then choose remove other columns to get rid of all the other columns. The next thing I need to do is remove some of the uh, ancillary information that doesn't have code. So I'm going to go in here and set a filter condition using text filters to say does not equal null. So this will get rid of the blank values. In addition, I noticed that there were uh, on the web page there were some obsolete postal codes and I need to get rid of these. So for example, Nebraska used to be called NB for its abbreviation. It's now called NE. So I don't want to have uh, duplicate region names here if I'm going to be using this uh, for lookups. So what I'm going to do is just remove the obsolete postal code values here. And to do that I'll do the same thing that I did before, does not equal, and then select the value and then obsolete postal codes. Now that I have my list of codes, I'm going to go ahead and rename um, this column here to be something a little more intelligent, uh, and I'll call it uh, USPS Codes. Yeah. I can use this as my column name. A nice feature of um, Power Query is the ability to add a key column. Uh, so that I can go ahead and use that potentially for primary index key to look up, uh, to use as a lookup as part of my uh, data warehouse solution. Now to do that, I can use the insert column function and then use the index operation and then give it a name. And so I could say like um, USPS key and then click OK. So now you see Power Query has created a unique identifier for each one of my values starting at 0 and then incrementing by 1 all the way up to my last value. So at this point I have everything that I need. I can go ahead and press Done. And what this is doing is it's loading the file into memory um, and then into a worksheet. Now once it's in the worksheet here, I have a variety of options. I can use it as an Excel document and use a database's capability to import the 
uh, XLS file into uh, the database, or I can save as a CSV file, or just use it as part of a power pivot model um, for doing um, star schemas using power pivot. If I want to use it in the power pivot model, what I want to, what I need to do is say load to data model, and what that will do is go ahead and create a power pivot model um, as part of my system, and it will use uh, create the table automatically based on the query setting. Let me jump over to Power Pivot right now and click Manage just to show you what I'm talking about. So you see here it's loaded up the US Postal Code into my model and then I can use uh, either a USPS key once I get my database set up and I have Power Pivot tables linked to my database or I could do a lookup key on my USPS code. Likewise I could also look up on region name. So that's it. Um, so I showed you how you can use Wikipedia uh, and actually any web page with the table, import the data into uh, Excel using uh, Power Query, uh, using the From Web capability, selecting the URL and then choosing your table, and then using the Power Query uh, data uh, Manipulation features to remove columns, add a primary or add a key field to this uh, so that I can use this as a dimension table in a data warehouse application. Thank you.